Hi. Now coming to this question, this is a slightly tricky question. You can say uh, we have to figure out the range of this function f x, which is x square plus two x plus four upon two x square plus four x plus nine here. Okay. So let's say f of x, which is y, is x square plus two x plus four divided by two x square plus four x plus nine. One way of doing this question is basically cross multiplying and bringing all the terms on the left hand side. So you will have x square into 2y minus 1 uh, plus x into 4y minus 2 plus 9y minus 4 is equal to 0. And now once you calculate the discriminant, since this is true for all real values of x, this is true for all real values of x, discriminant of this a quadratic equation should be greater than or equal to zero. This is one way, way of doing this question, but this is going to be a very lengthy method. Instead of that, let's do one thing. Let's multiply this whole equation with two. So your two y is two x square plus four x plus eight upon two x square plus four x plus nine. Why did I do this? I can see the coefficients here are half the coefficients here. Okay, that's why I'm doing this. Now the next thing that you can do is 2x square plus 4x plus. You can add one and subtract one over here. So we will have plus nine minus one upon 2x square plus 4x plus nine over here. So you have two y is this quadratic upon this quadratic will give me one minus 1 upon the quadratic minus 1 upon 2x square plus 4x plus 9. So now what we have is we have simplified this whole expression into one single quadratic. Okay. And we have to figure out the maximum and the minimum value of the right hand side. Right. Now when will we have maximum value of this whole expression? This whole expression will be maximum when this expression is minimum. And this expression will be minimum when this expression is maximum. Or in other words, y will be maximum when this expression is maximum and y will be minimum when this expression is minimum here. Okay. So now let's calculate the maximum and the minimum value of this expression. Right. Now the maximum value of this expression will definitely be plus infinity. Right. The maximum value will be plus infinity. That means the maximum value of y will be twice of y max will be 1 minus 1 upon infinity which is effectively 0. So 1 minus 1 upon infinity which is effectively 1. That means y max will be 1 by 2. Now obviously no equation can become infinity. So this will actually be an open bracket. So y will definitely be less than half. It will not be equal to half. It will definitely be less than half, right? Next is let's calculate the minimum value of this expression. Now here you see that the discriminant is less than zero. B square 16 minus 4 AC 72. This is less than zero. That means this graph will never become negative. This graph will always be above the X axis. Coefficient of X square is positive and discriminant is less than zero. So this graph will always be positive. Okay. So the minimum value of this graph will be minimum at x equals to minus b by twice of a twice of 2. So minimum will be when x is equal to minus 1. Hence the minimum value of this expression is twice of minus 1 square plus 4 times of minus 1 plus 9. So this is minus 4 minus 2 7 minimum value of this expression is 7 that means twice the minimum value of y is equal to 1 minus 1 by 7 which is 6 by 7 hence the minimum value of y is 6 by 7 divided by 2 3 by 7 now this will be a closed bracket because this quadratic can obviously attain the minimum value. It cannot attain the value infinite, but it will definitely attain the value of uh, 7. Hence, y can be minimum y 3 by 7. 
so y is definitely greater than or equal to 3 by 7 here okay so now if we combine both these equations or both these answers that we have y is definitely greater than or equal to 3 by 7 but it is definitely less than half hence the correct answer is option a over here y is greater than or equal to 3 by 7 but less than half the correct answer is option a here okay so that's it for this question thank you